Hey guys, today I am doing this look today. It is really, I won't say simple, but it is pretty easy. But it is using the Meet Matte Nude Palette. And I'm using the navy blue color because I'm wearing navy blue today. So I thought I'd try it out. I don't like light blues, like baby blues, but I like navy I can do. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out really good. So um, if you want to learn how to get this look, just keep on watching. Okay, to start, I'm going to put concealer under my eyes, and I put, where is it? I use the Smashbox Photo Finish. This is more for um, drier skin, so I already primed under there. So I'm going to use my concealer. Um, it's the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC30, and just like dot it around. And then I'm setting it with my Make It Forever um, setting powder. I already primed my lids also, so I use the the NARS smudge proof eyeshadow base. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows because they're bothering me. So I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz and Brunette. I'm going to speed this up because I have a brow tutorial that I will link below for you. Then I'm going to move on to the Anastasia um, Brow Powder Duo. And this is in uh, Brunette. Or no, this is in Dark Brown. Then I'm using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. For this tutorial, I'm using the Meet Matte Nude Palette, and I'm going to be using mainly the Matte Johnson color, because I'm wearing blue today. So I was like, ooh, I want to try this blue out because I've never worn it before. So I'm wearing the Matte Johnson color, and I have a few other shades, but I'll tell you as we go. I'm going to get a flat brush. This is a Sigma Firm Shader E57. So I'm going to go into the shadow. And I'm going to work this on my outer corner. And then up into the crease. And then kind of... I'm going to make a wing out of it. But you're going to have to kind of apply the shadow a few times to get it the kind of color or the the color that I want. So that's my wing most the start of it. And then I'm just gonna pat the color in to make it darker. And then I'm gonna go in with a blending brush and just kind of soften the edge. And like I said I'm gonna go back and forth so um, this is just to kind of disperse the color on my lid. A little more. Okay, so I might go back and again, but I'm going to go into the matte rosin color right here with the same brush, and this is going to go in my crease. right above that blue. Just a little bit of the matte Garcia color. Just kind of tap it and kind of darken the crease up a little bit, but you don't need a lot of this because it's very pigmented. All right, so we kind of brushed away a little bit of the blue color, so I'm just gonna go back in one more time and just kind of pat Now I'm going to go in with this MAC 242 brush and I'm going to go into the matte Lombardi color. This is going to go on my inner corner 
and kind of just right to kind of to brighten up the inner eye just keep it right here and then you can use this brush to blend it or you can use the big blending brush which I rather prefer and then with the same brush I'm going into the that gold color again and I'm gonna highlight my brow bone if you're for medium skin tones this is a really good highlight for you if you're a lighter skin tone um, the matte Malloy the white one would be perfect but I think that one's just a little too stark for me so I'd rather use this yellow color I'm just gonna blend up into that then I'm going to take this Urban Decay 24-7 glide on pencil and I'm using this blue one and this is in the color Sabbath yeah Sabbath I'm gonna take this on my lash line my water line or whatever you say then I'm just gonna take the same brush that I used to put the blue and then kind of smudge it Make sure you connect it up here. So, then I'm going to go back to the blue color we used on the same brush and kind of pack it on that blue. But make sure you connect it up here. Then I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to go into the matte rosin color. And then I'm gonna kind of kind of blend the blue out so it won't be as harsh. Then with that flat shader brush again, I'm gonna go into the matte Lombardi color, which is the gold color, and put it right on the area we didn't take the blue to. So right here. Then I'm going to take my MAC uh, Black Track Fluid Line and do a wing. Then I'm using the Benefits Their Real Mascara. I'm going to use the Anastasia Contour Kit like always. I'm going into the middle color, which is Fawn, and then a little bit into Java. Don't want like a heavy contour. Excuse me. I don't want a heavy contour, just, you know, nice and simple. I'm going to take the banana shade and highlight. For blush, I'm using the Milani Baked Blush in the color Luminoso. For lips, I'm going to use um, Max Twig Lipstick. I'm going to use Stila's Lip Glaze in the color Strawberry Lemonade. So that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this because it was literally the spur of the moment and I was not going to film. But I'm glad I did because I think it turned out so pretty. And yeah, thanks for watching again and I will see you in my next video. Bye dolls.